was a lot of debate, led mostly by the mayor's supporters on this assembly. They basically said that this is water under the bridge, the funds have been dispersed, let's move on. Rather an interesting position for assembly members who are still dredging up matters that date back to 2008 and who had no problem allocating $50,000 for a forensic audit to aid them in that endeavor. Nevertheless, my resolution, uh, AR 2010-92, uh, which we'll take up shortly, um, was referred to the Ethics Board with caveat, I believe it was Mr. Coffee at the time, I believe, um, that after they take a look at it, that they take a look at it, if there are remaining questions, we can take those up in due course. Through the clerk, I heard from the chair of the Ethics Board, as I believe the rest of the members of this body did, uh, in an email several uh, days ago, who said the questions raised in my resolution were beyond the scope of their mission. But there was an interesting new dimension added to the ethical issues explored with the board chair. The ethical questions surrounding the process of the assembly itself, as well as the mayor. As a consequence of that discussion, I have drafted a resolution addressing the larger question of the ethical breaches of duty that led to this mess in the first place. This new resolution is AR 2010-126, which I have laid on the table this evening. 